In Texas's Galveston Bay, a routine day takes a terrifying turn as an unforeseen catastrophe is about to unfold. On April 16th, 1947, a fire aboard a freighter leads to nearly 600 deaths. Tragedy strikes when a fire breaks out aboard the French freighter Grand Camp while it's being loaded in Galveston Bay, Texas. The fire spreads to the ship's hold, igniting the volatile cargo of ammonium nitrate. The resulting explosion is catastrophic, causing a massive blast that obliterates the Grand Camp and destroys nearby buildings and ships. In total, 581 people lose their lives and 3,500 more are injured. The Grand Camp incident, also known as the Texas City Disaster, remains the deadliest industrial accident in U.S. history and one of the largest ever non-nuclear explosions. The tragedy leads to new regulations and safety measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. It serves as a reminder of the importance of prioritizing safety in the workplace. Stay tuned to learn more about the Grand Camp disaster, including its likely cause and whether the victims are ever compensated. Don't forget to check out Today in History in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. There's a link in the description. At the time the fire breaks out, the Grand Camp is being loaded with ammonium nitrate, tobacco, and government-owned ammunition. Ammonium nitrate was used as an explosive by the U.S. Army during World War II. After the war ends in 1945, it continues to be produced for use as a fertilizer. However, the precautions used in its transport become far more lax in the post-war years. The cause of the fire is officially undetermined. However, a discarded cigarette is the most likely culprit. Just two days prior, in fact, a cigarette had caused a fire on the docks. Cigarette smoking was officially banned on the docks, but many longshoremen ignore the regulation. Initially, the fire is minor and seems unlikely to cause a severe incident. It is located deep within one of the ship's holds. The captain bars the men from using water hoses to extinguish the flames because he does not want to damage the 2,300 tons of cargo already loaded on the ship. Instead, the captain has all the hatches sealed in an effort to smother the fire. This fails since ammonium nitrate is an oxidizer and thus restricting oxygen has no effect. The fire triggers a massive explosion that can be heard 150 miles away and launches the ship's one and a half ton anchor into the air. It is found two miles away. Most people at the docks are killed instantly. The blast triggers another explosion at a nearby chemical facility, killing half of the 574 workers and seriously injuring the rest. 500, 500 homes are leveled by the blast. Damages are estimated at $100 million. A court battle ensues over the causes of the explosion and just compensation. Congress eventually steps in and gives 1,394 victims a total of $17 million eight years after the incident in 1955. I'd love to hear from you. What did you find most interesting about the Grand Camp disaster? Let me know in the comments. Also, please be sure to like and subscribe. And you can see another great Mr. Lewis video here and another one right here. Thanks for watching.